You're going to want to go outside tonight to catch a rare glimpse of the super blood wolf moon. Only comes around every 18 years. There are a couple of events happening in Colorado Springs tonight where you can use telescopes to get an even closer look. Our Jessica Barreto at the Garden of the Gods Visitor Center, one of those locations with more. Jessica. That's right, and this is one of the spots where you can attend a free watch party. Now, here to tell me a little bit more is program coordinator Elizabeth Barber. Thanks, Elizabeth, for joining me. So tell me a little bit about what visitors can expect tonight. Hi, so um, tonight we're hosting a free special event here at the Garden of the Gods Visitor and Nature Center, and it's a viewing event for the total lunar eclipse, and we're really excited tonight to have volunteers from the Colorado Springs Astronomical Society, and they basically are coming out tonight to bring their um, high-powered telescopes and to teach people about the lunar eclipse, so we'll have some free public talks, and um, the event is open to the public, so we encourage everybody who can to attend. Awesome. Thanks, Elizabeth, and actually here joining me from the Colorado Springs Astronomical Society is Dave Warner. Hi Dave, how are you? Hi, I'm great. Looking now, forward to it. <laughs> now he has a, a demonstration of what the lo lunar eclipse will look like. So tell me Dave, what are we going to see tonight? Yeah, uh, what we have here is uh, on a scale of uh, one inch diameter Earth and a one quarter inch diameter Moon, uh, we have the shadow. If we use the flashlight as, a, as our sun, the shadow will uh, cover up the moon for uh, about an hour in total eclipse and it'll cause it to uh, turn to a dark red color. So we're looking forward to going and seeing that tonight. Awesome. And then also you brought your telescopes with you. You're going to have about a dozen, you said? Yeah, um, at least a dozen. We might have as many as two dozen telescopes, all different types of telescopes for people to come look through, uh, take a look at the moon, as well as uh, we'll probably take a look at some other celestial objects too. Now, what are people going to see when they look through the lens here? Um, it'll almost be, on my particular telescope, it'll almost be a, a full moon. They'll be able to see that. Maybe they'll see the background of the stars. When the uh, eclipse dims out the light of the moon reflecting uh, that sunlight, we'll be able to see that those stars in the background as it travels across. It's a really amazing sight to see. And also those craters and all those details. Yeah, we'll be able to see the craters of the moon, the mountains, uh, the valleys, all the different features that are there to see on the moon as well. So come out and join us. We'd love to have you. Very good. Thanks so much, Dave. I appreciate it. Now, the second event will be taking place at the Air Force Academy. Both are free. Both start at 7 p.m. Both will have telescopes on hand, so make sure you make it out. Now, the total lunar eclipse will last about three hours, but if you can't make it out, don't worry. We've got you covered. We will bring you a live look of the lunar eclipse coming up tonight on News 5 at 10. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Jessica Barreto, News 5.